So now we remember our baptism, we profess our faith, saying together the words of the baptismal symbol of that faith, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So now let us turn to the needs of the church and the needs of the world and offer our prayers to God. Keeping our hearts and our minds open, let's praise the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to bring peace to our world, peace to the Ukraine. We pray for all those who are searching for peace and for all those who right now are threatened by violence or warfare. And we pray that all people will realise that we have more in common with our neighbours than we have differences. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace because of our church and all religions. That may provide us with guidance and spirituality. We ask you to open up our ears, our minds and our hearts. To may listen to you and act upon those words and in doing so might show to others empathy, compassion, and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord, the Lord be our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to, to look down our troubled world, to give direction and understanding to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us, where there is disagreement in our world, Lord. We ask you to lead people to choose reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord, the Lord be our prayer. We pray for help for all those who right now are suffering from the effects of earthquakes, storms, tornadoes, volcanoes, floods, droughts or wildfires. And we pray that our planet's resources will be used both equitably and responsibly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering, and all those who care for them. We also pray on this day for all those people who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. We ask you, Lord, to hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those who lost loved ones on an anniversary or birthday at this time. Let their souls rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. Let us now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep in our own heart. All these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear the prayers of your people, O Father, and grant that what we have asked faithfully we may obtain effectually, and all to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful, God is just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptised into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you.